now recording. Okay, stick on the recording thing. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I am so embarrassed. I did uh, 30, 45 minutes worth of uh, gameplay, starting from here, and I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. Didn't notice it till I didn't see my microphone up in the corner. So, we lost two pilots earlier, and one of them cost us about 15 million, but he was well worth it. And the other one, uh, she actually evaded capture, and she was recovered free of charge. Okay. So now we have six pilots. There's me. Thanks for the to join the company, Commander. Let's that's, kick some ass. That's one of the ones we paid for. Now look at her. Right now she's level 39. That's supposed to be her max cap, but I think the more she trains, because she's gonna, her max cap uh, is gonna go up. Exploration and fortune has brought us to meet. Glad up, to be on board, sir. Up to 39. Now I made some more sound. This is dagger. And we have good old dagger back, my favorite. I like Thanks that. Thanks for the opportunity, Commander. Okay, Not gonna let so you or your uh, company down. I did some more adjusting on my sound settings because I. Uh, my last video I wasn't happy it's weird because my earlier videos all sounded really good but now they've sounded different so I turned the uh, I had turned the uh, game's main volume down to like 70 because I was uh, I was thinking it was drowning me out but I went ahead and turned it up to 90 instead of 100 and we'll have to just see what's going on I'm not going to change any of my other videos but I notice when I'm watching it on my TV, I have to crank up the volume. Uh, now, the living room's a big room, but, uh, but it sounds good on the headsets. Didn't sound too bad in here. All right, so I was, this is something else I'm going to do. So I found a workaround on this guy, which is not a bad workaround. So we're going to do a loadout. So see what he's got? This AC-5. And it does five points of damage, weighs eight tons, but it, it fires uh, 33 plus rounds a minute. But this right here is going to light rifle. It does. It weighs three, so we're going to lose. We're going to lose five extra tons. It does 8.4, so it does more damage, but it only fires uh, 10 rounds a minute. It has a 414 range. What's the range on this sucker? So this has got a little bit more range, 496. But I'm going to do that swap. So we need to change out the AC ammo. Now the light rifle, uh, like the AC ammo is, uh, uh, come on, I'm just trying to teach people stuff, has 80 rounds. The, the rifles are way skimpy on their rounds. I think this, the light rifle does 34. Yeah, 34. So we're going to put two, two light rifles in there. And we're going to max the armor. And uh, we're going to throw in some more heat sinks. We can actually get two on here. Remember, I was worried about them. I don't think I'm ready to slap. I only got one double heat sink, so I'm going to slap any double heat sinks on them. But uh, how many heat sinks we have? We are rolling in the heat sinks. So, I'm going to slap another ton of light rifle armor or ammo in there just because uh, we got a half a ton of makeup. So now we've got uh, 98, we got 102 rounds of light rifle ammo. 
And if I was using the dang thing, we would use that up in a mission because I shoot the heck out of those every chance I get. So we got more we got more heat sinks. We got more firepower, but less uh, reload. The reload time's a lot slower. And everything on this mech is tier four. So it's gonna do damage. Eventually, if we keep this mech, I will put everything tier five, but we gotta start somewhere. And, and this is, for beginning of the game, this is a good, uh, you know, it's good. So we actually got one, two, three, we got uh, three regular heat sinks and uh, one double, so we're good to go. All right. Okay, my, my uh, lesson in mech builds. All right, so now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna find the uh, resource mission. Uh, and it was hard to find the, to, this is not a resource. This is the mission to, uh, to find this uh, intel or this, the salvage that they want for the uh, Cantina Quest, and it's in this area. So, so it's not in here. Like I, I, I might not have told you, on these Cantina Mission Quest for this particular one, or the ones that are like it. Uh, you have to get in the area first, and this is where we're supposed to be, and it tells you in there what area it is, and you can look like Inferno's Wake. It says that in the description. Go to Inferno's Wake and find it. You're going to see all these little square green things, and every one of those is a possibility of having what you want. But you're not going to know that you got it until you jump over there and see if one of the missions that you have has the icon beside it. So you got to hunt for it. There it is right there. Okay, it's only going to be in one spot. And we got lucky and found it on the second try. So we're going to take this, two sea bills, three, and we're going to be, well, we might as well take the airstrike for long range missiles of justice, 160. Well, we're taking an airstrike, so, okay, so we're good to go. And we are at 160. Hope we got some long range missiles of justice here. I thought I put her in training. I didn't confirm it, did I? Yeah, because there's nobody in here that's in training, and definitely not her. So I didn't confirm it. My bad. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's see what we can do here. What kind of mess we can get into. How many anomalies we can get killed by. One. We might be able to survive one. Okay, this is just an assassination. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Our targets have given our employer nothing but problems. We have been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. We got some mercs out there doing our job, by the way. I don't know if I can use that. I'm not very good with these airstrikes. I wish There's that. There's a strong likelihood we'll find one of our hidden assets on this mission. I've marked the possible location for it on your map. I wish they would make the airstrikes where you could. Mech one one, this is Sierra two one. We are prime for assault. 
Standing by for your tango confirmation. See you two one over. Where you could actually view the airstrikes on the map. Because trying to look over there, look over at it and get it targeted on there is kinda hard for me. But if I could have an aerial view where I'm gonna drop the bombs, I wouldn't mind that at all. Already dead? I don't see anybody over there. There is nobody over there. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Enemy compromised. They're nothing compared to the Federated Sun's mechs. All our targets are here, Commander. Be careful and take them out quick. That matches the class of VTOL we're after. Take it out. Alpha 1-1, one, one. if this is Sierra 2-1, acknowledging strike pattern. Alpha package is out for delivery. Sierra 2-1, out. Sustaining heavy damage. That's it for our airstrike support. We're on our own now. Kill confirmed. Well, we got somebody. I don't know if that airstrike got anybody else. Once you've located the crate, get close enough to pick up the contents. Just landed a big hit on that mech. I'm getting crit warnings. They need to eject. Target destroyed. Crate nice. tags for pickup. Yeah, I might as well grab these two. There's only two on the map. No repair base, so. I got it. Acquired. Let me take out that tank. I got him, Jinx. Like it's getting close to harvest time in the winter. Where is our target? Uh oh. Group target acknowledged. Down. 
Okay, we got to get our uh, cantina. Right on Ooh, beetles. On approach. Enemy destroyed. I think if them helicopters crash on you, you get damaged. Don't don't hold me to that. I'm not 100% sure, but big hunk of steel on fire, you should get damaged. Tuck this thing way in the back corner. Approaching the location of a hidden asset. It must be nearby. Scratch that one off the list. Well, that wasn't a bad mission. Anytime you can walk away, you didn't lose any weapons or any people, you're in good shape. Uh oh, we're getting a new target. Spider. Where'd he come from? That's kind of a blind fire right there. hike back to the leopard.
shoot, wrong button. girl. I need to get some more uh, cantina missions. Looks like I've only got three now. Maybe. Or maybe I just, it just didn't show the ones I had to do anything on. Uh. So we got one turbochet, some missiles, ammo and our special package and we didn't make that much money but and there's nothing no good weapons at all that won't start getting better until we get into the higher tiers. Okay, so 12 and 8. That's it. Good deal. So, yeah, we'll get some junk out from when we salvage them. Man, we could clean up on killing pirates, couldn't we? How bad are we damaged? Man, nah, I'm going to go to Industrial Hub. They're not that far away, so. Do another one. That's not bad, but they're not very durable. A hunch <coughs> hunchback will outlast one of these things. No, 
not a single flipping heat sink on it. I'll drop the uh, LRMs down to tens later. Put some good tens on it and some good lasers. Lose firepower, but we'll be able to get heat sinks on it. Because we max the armor, we're still not maxed. So we're just going to leave it like it is. Over there. Let's put that extra one in the head. So we're going to do it, and then we're going to throw these in the trash can. I may want one of these later, but not that one. I don't know, two missiles, that's pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, Let's see how much he's worth. Now I'll give you the bad one. There's a mission later on in the in it where you got to take some fast movers and it's 50 tons, and one of these guys in a jenner is perfect. But I'm gonna hold on to him just because uh, two two long range missiles on one of these is not a bad deal. So we can uh, repair all. He's got heat sinks. He's got ammo. Maxi armor. Oh, he's really hurting on armor, though. He has. God, he has no armor at all. Alright. Uh, confirm. I'll get one of them later. Okay, so we got everything we need, and we're going to go sell those two little pieces of junk, maybe. I guess we could hold on to them just because uh, those are pretty common in quests. We're going to hold on to all these. I don't need to spend any more. Well, this guy we're going to sell because he's worth too much to hold on to. These two guys aren't worth it, but that, that guy's, yeah, these two guys aren't worth crap, so they'll be perfect mix for uh, giving to the cantina people when, it, when the missions come up for them. Okay, so now we got a little bit of money. Let's do a little equipment thing. Uh, special order. And three heat sinks as usual. And then Missiles. Okay, so how many of these we got? We only got one. We're going to order two. Uh, fives. We only got one. Order two, order two, and then SRMs, SRMs, yeah, I hold off because I don't want to blow all my money, got bills to pay, uh, I don't care about pulse lasers. Got five of these. They're not expensive. We'll order two of those. Might order two more of those. Medium lasers. Definitely medium lasers. Gonna order two. And two. And that's gonna be it. Because we're getting low on cash. But we still got five. We won't. You know, you never know. We may have to pay a ransom. The way I'm flying and leading these people, that's probably what's going to happen. We're going to be paying a ransom. Okay, so I need a cantina to get some more cantina missions, which is right here. Oh, 
only need one. We'll kill some mechs or kill some tanks, something like that. So you max all these out at 10, but um, you keep you can keep doing them, you know, all the different branches of the cantina. You get all your rewards after you hit level 10 on them, but, uh, which is your mods for your mechs, you know, your upgrades. But you keep doing them and you keep making money and getting, you know, stuff. So it's all about getting stuff, right? So let's go. What's the hero mech here look like? Uh, that probably wouldn't be too bad. Oh, I hate the paint job. Okay. Oh, I'm going to paint my mech. You guys probably hate my paint job. I spent a long time working on this paint job. I, I actually, it got lost once. I don't know if I reinstalled and lost it or what. But I, it, it was perfect the first time I made it, and then it was real hard to get it to where I really want it, but it's good enough. I want it to be more purple than pink, but it looks more pink than purple. Uh, so, we need one cantina mission. Collect one dervish. Collect one jenner. And collect one javelin. I already have a javelin. So we'll get him. And select. Oh no. That's not what I want. Javelin. Wrong wrong mech. Okay. We can wait to, until we get the ones we want. We'll, we'll kill one. I uh, misread it. <laughs> I said, I, in my mind, when I was thinking of Javelin, I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of uh, Assassin. Don't ask me why. I know I haven't even repaired these guys yet. Till the next delivery, because I don't want to put any red on you yet. And remember, the higher the tier, the more damage, less heat. And more range everything has. Can I get any SSTs for this thing? Oh yeah. Okay, so that guy's got the best of the best. Okay. Later on, if we decide to get rid of them, we still got those weapons because they didn't get blown off because I made some stupid mistake. We can put them on something else. But we tend to be using those little guys a lot in this area. Fixed move on. We had to go all the way across the damn world to uh, get any of those pilots we want. Now, when we reach level 8, the Coyote mission, you get a, you get a pilot for him uh, from him called Coyote. And I don't know if I said this before, but I've watched some of his videos, his YouTube channel. And I think he voices the character because it sounds just like him. 
and you get two pretty decent mechs, but they're they're not the mechs that I would like to use, so I just store them because he flies whatever I tell him to. All right, so star map. Let's go over here and do this thing. No, we don't want to do this thing yet. Well, we could. This is our next campaign mission. Eh, I'm gonna hold that off. That'll wait there forever. Uh, so. Make the jump. 23 days, nine, 90,000 sea bills. And we picked up a new exploration quest. Okay. Ooh, cute, sonny. Reward for what? Oh, collect the reward. I ain't giving you that, Jenner. So it's a 230-ton mission. We don't have any 230-ton equivalents that are got a lot of but we're going to do this one first this is a no lose situation you're fighting for the same people you're fighting against <laughs> so you're not going to lose any uh, points okay this is a 200 tonner so this is going to be one of our bigger missions we're going to get all the, all the salvage we can and we'll take all the sea bills and we're going to hope we don't get a whole lot of uh, anomalies. Okay, so I'm going to take my favorite mech, the new and improved version. That's not it. That's not it. Did I forget? I know I did that. Did I not put... Uh, put that on him. I'm, I'm losing my... Oh, I bet I did that. Uh, okay. So, I started a video. And I didn't have the video recording. And I didn't know it. And I went about this far into it. And I actually got the uh, LBX 10s and I put them on this one in the video. But then I had to, uh, I had to re rewind it that one so or not rewind I had to go back to the same save where we were at Let's see if I got enough 50 ton mechs to make this work oh, I wish I put better armor on that one I mean not better armor better weapons new and improved 55 ton mech. And then for 45, which is a medium, these are really not that good, even with maximum weapons on them. Uh, they're paper thin. Uh, and this one does 71. That might be the one he's in right now. And, uh, yep. and this one does 62, so the other one actually does more damage. Uh, what's on it? It's because of that ER large laser. And the, the PPC, too. So, but we're going to send them into one we got them in. All right, so we are at our max. See if we can keep from dying.
So somebody's blowing Good up our objective. Commander. That's one less target. But I don't see any enough. I suspect enough. you're going to enjoy this one, Commander. I've marked on your map the two structures you need to destroy. Take them out, along with any enemy forces in the area. Then meet me at the extraction point. So Good I don't... S I don't see any anomalies. Who blew up our objective? I think this one has one repair by, so we'll be able to freshen up before we get home. Yeah, this is a campaign mission. So I'll probably have to put it in the description. Trying to note all that stuff in the descriptions. Probably missed some stuff here and there. Trying to look a little more professional than I am. No match for the Lords of Destiny. Target acquired. Where you at? I got something on sensors. Kill it. Target destroyed. Kill it, Jinx. Kill it. I know I hear helicopters. I hear choppers.
scratch that target off the list. I'm gonna get nice that bug off my there. back. That should give the Apex Mining Syndicate pause and a powerful reason to reflect on just how badly they've been treating their employees. Meet me at the extraction point for Xville. I'm on my way. I told you I heard helicopters. Okay. I know this is not very professional, but I gotta go get rid of some coffee. So I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back. I'm back. So this is how the game would play if you didn't have the mods in there. I mean, the this is didn't have any stack crates, didn't have any uh, anomaly stuff in it. But it it's too easy. But then the other way is too damn hard. <laughs> So everybody's going to be 100%. And if we don't run in... Oh, man, I ran over the... It did, doesn't matter. The generator for the repair bay. Yeah, my headset and my microphone, I only paid like $23 for it. It's just a gaming headset that does uh, 7.1 surround sound if your computer supports it. And uh, sounds pretty good. So it's not a very good quality mic, I know, but I'm trying to get started at this. And eventually I may do the camera thing where you can look at me and see how, see my old butt, you know, because I'm an old guy. But uh, I'm not too concerned about the camera right now. I just need to get likes, subscriptions, comments, share. Let's get out of here, Commander. Job well done. I don't think that one's going to pay very much, and we're not going to get very much loot. Hell, what? There was only one decent mech. Yeah. Shadowhawk was it. And he's more... He's one point more than what I got. Damn it. Oh, well. And there's not going to be a whole lot of anything in here.
so we'll just take whatever we can get. One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. So sooner or later, and I might do it while you guys aren't around, like come in and do it. I'm going to have so much of this stuff that I'm going to start selling it. And like I might have 150 of one thing and I'm going to whittle it down to about 30. And then you got to hit the button over and over and over again. But all this stuff you can sell for money, see bills. And that's how you get rich in this game. Who, who, got, who did not get repaired or got shot after I repaired them? Hmm. Huh. Total damage. Made them happy. Level 6. So every time you rank up, you get points, negotiation points. You can get uh, a total of 15 negotiation points as long as you're in good standing with somebody, but as you make them mad, you lose those. Negative. I didn't collect it. Oh, let's see. That's good. I'm not going to give you one of my decent Jenners. Let's go see what Rihanna wants. Hello, Commander. I've just received a transmission from Spears. I thought you should hear it firsthand. Rihanna, Commander. I've been trying to find out more information on Black Inferno as you requested. What I uncovered is quite intriguing. Based on several reports from regional governments, combined with my own intelligence sources, I've been able to track some of Inferno's movements. Those movements correspond very closely with areas of increased refugee displacement within the Inner Sphere. Now, I believe the two are connected. How they're connected or why, I don't know yet. But when I do, I'll be in touch. Interesting. I'm hoping we can use that confluence of events to help us track Inferno down. Make them pay for what they did. Right now, though, we need to keep earning money and increasing our combat strength if we hope to win that fight. If and when it finally comes. Our newest contract appears to be the result of Inferno activity, just as Spears described. After an Inferno attack inside Marik territory, Marik refugees fled for their lives. Their only path of escape was across the border into Liao territory. House Liao is refusing the refugees free passage back to Marik space with the intent of destabilizing the contested border region. Not surprisingly, House Marik is incensed over the matter. All their diplomatic efforts have thus far been rebuffed. That's only exacerbated the situation. It's gotten to the point now. I hate it when it does that. They decided to take a different tack. They so want figured out why to it send does a that. message to House Leo by assassinating the local governor, overseeing the detention of the refugees. Pretty sure that'll get their attention. The mission briefing has already been prepared, Commander. We leave on your orders. Copy that. So I didn't touch anything. And it just jumped like that to a smaller screen.